This is a view is from the bike ride I managed to get it in this morning along the Wandle and into Morden Hall Park where I painted one last week. Uh, just before the uh, high winds and storm it's going to lash the south of, of England now. Uh, so but we managed to get, get, get the bike ride in and pedalling through Morden Hall Park I, I just looked at, looked at this. It's, it's so easy to overlook these sorts of uh, things and what have we got? We've got some autumn colours. Now autumn in, in England or UK isn't like autumn in Virginia where you have the wonderful reds and, and uh, siennas. We get those colours on the floor when the leaves have dropped. We do it on some trees but, but we just don't get whole vistas of... Uh, well somebody will phone in and say yeah you, we do. But so certainly not around my bit of Surrey. Uh, so we're well, we're fifteenth of August uh, of November, well into autumn now, and we've got the turning leaves here. All the the ready browny leaves will be on the floor, dried, and we've got these trees are denuded of uh, their leaves, and we've got all this ivy climbing up, wild wow, oak trees or whatever, whatever they are. So we. We're going to have a go at painting a stand of trees. I've done several in the past, but this is a painting in its own right. So uh, I've got Harry on my lap, so I'll just give you a little view before I swing him up. I'll just come round to my board, just zoom out a little bit, and go down to Harry. There's Harry, look, he's growing, growing fast, aren't you, boy? He's a lovely little cat. He likes living with us. He's already working on a hole in the next curtain in the bedroom. And uh, he likes terrorising my hands when I play with his tummy. But he's a lovely little cat. Great, great friendly little, little chap. I just hope he lasts a bit longer than Freddy. OK, right, I'll put him down. Sorry, Fred. Uh, Fred. Harry, off you go. You're going to find a little corner as it goes. They probably try and get back. Right, come back up to the uh, to the board here. That that will do. Right, okay. So I'll get my palette out. I'm only going to do this one this afternoon. Hope it turns out okay. I'm not going to do the whole lot. My 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 sheet is uh, a different format than the panorama of uh, the enlargement on the screen. But I'll only do an approximate version anyway. Right, I'll, I'll wet the paper all over. Fred, stop attacking my shit. Oh, no, he's come back. Fred, Harry, <laughs> we're so used to calling the cat Freddy after the last beautiful thing. Right, now you've got to go. You've got to go. I know you, you love me, but off you go. Right, I'll wet the paper all over. Well, we're home a lot, so we can uh, give him all the attention he, he requires of us. When we got him about five weeks ago, he was a sorry sight. Diarrhea, covered in fleas, and the owner had sprayed him with something she got from the vet. But we, we got him back to what he should be. Right, I'll... Give a bit of a, a warm with some sienna. I'll have quite a low horizon on this. It's all, all trees. Okay, that'll do. Right, now the skies are mostly cloudy today at the moment, so a bit of a alizarin, a bit of, bit of ultra. A bit creative with these skies, although they're going to be covered up. Uh, that would be about it, really. So, while, while we've got the brush in the hand and, and before this lot dries, I'm going to just put in a bit of a. No, you can't come up, Harry. A bit of green. Just 
So that, that'll do. A bit of darker green on the horizon here. And then, but it will dry as we can now. Uh, just put some of this in here. A bigger bit of darker in here. So a bit of a smaller tree. There without anything on it. So put that in. And a bit, bit more green around here. My yellow is lovely and soft. I'll get the bristle brushes, the bristles together. Got a nice yellow there. Bit of dark in here. And more, bit, bit of a uh, bit of this. No, he's behind me now. Sitting down. He's not going to let me paint. What he's going to do is best to sabotage the effort. I'm not going to paint many individual leaves. Harry, what are you? Oh, you can't see him, but he's climbing up my back. Don't you forget me, Dad, he's saying. And then I'll put it up in a fire. Put a yellow in here, then some bluey ultramarine, brownie ultramarine, I mean. Right, okay, let's just scrape some stuff out of it. Oh, right, just re the paper. Harry, old chap, you have to go down. Well, you're going to end up a brush. Got a lovely tail. Get off. Right, I'll just reclip. Then I'll, I'll, I'll put in the uh, the ivy, and I want to just lift out some 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 of these thin thin trunks. Now the ivy is quite dark. Obviously, we've got an ivy sort of colour there. Oh, no, 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 Damn. He's coming back again. Let's just set the yellow in there. Well, he doesn't want to be left out, does he? Nice and dark in there. Another one here. Sort of going up to sort of nothing. I'm just spitting with a couple of branches up there.
boost right the way down here to the negative shape. There's quite a bit in here. A little bit distant, a bit more yellow in this one. And then a tallish one here. It's going to into nothing there, coming down into this. Show some detail in these trees at the back here. And I will put in. Oh, we've got a nice bit of dark in there. Just outlining that tree here. Okay, so this, uh, to, we'll bring one of these down into here. You can see my plate look, it's, it's almost tube consistency. Uh, some warmer, warmer colours in there. Now we've got plenty of these. And okay. Right, that seems to have. dark in here but we'll just put this in for effect now they've just put in some greeny colours in here in the shadow but still preserve those lights uh, now I want some twiggy colours now because these trees are look, well I just put this but the uh, the branches in it's a bit, bit of greeny. Bit of a lizard in there, I think. Um, uh, coming up here. And these are. No, Harry, no, go. Mm. A bit, of, a bit of this, oh that's gone too thick. Well, let's do some of this with a rigger, I think. There's quite a lot of this. Now, Down. oh ouch, go on your claws, get off. Well, me now. Bad daddy. Oh, he's a lovely little thing. We've only ever had moggies, we've never had anything pedigree. He's a pedigree moggy. Pedigree Jim Ginger Tom. I'm going to put a wiggle in this and that. So I get these, these in. <coughs> We've got some dark ones coming out of uh, here. Yeah. 
Remember, you can't put everything in. You can only suggest and leave the viewer some leeway to involve their brains in there, but in adding the bits and pieces. Get down, Freddy. Harry. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, he's got claws. Get off. Up here. Go on, up here. <coughs> Much as we love it. But Let's get another trunkage. Right here. So I'm taking umbrage now. Don't blame him. Okay, so let's just put in some some of this here. Just shorthand for twigs. Roland Hilda and Weston were quite this. She was in the edge of the brush. But they were using round brushes. Okay. That's it. So this is really a painting tree tutorial tutorial, but there's so much lovely skeletons of trees around now that you, you take them for granted and you overlook them but they're just wonderful in their own right. I'm going to strengthen up some of these as well, some of these uh, Because this is all silhouetted. You wouldn't think this is all surrounded by suburbia, not but get nice get a nice dark in this. And then we can just put a bit of shine through in in the tree in the trees in the front. And then a bit more in here. Alright, that'll do. That's a little bit more in here. Okay. Uh, and we'll just get some darks in, in here. This is essentially a dark sort of green in the shadows. I'm just vamping this now. So let's put in a bit of a bit of green texture in here. Just rough grassy area. That's it. <coughs> right, here we go. Let's get the paper. Swig of tea. And there's not a lot more I can do. I do uh, uh, where's my little white wig up? There it is. Just using a bit of Payne's grey and a bit of, bit of um, uh, burnt umber. As I say, you can't, you can't put everything in. Certainly not in a half hour, 20 minute demonstration. But this is just really just to show trees a view that you would overlook but 
you can use it as a model and uh, use it in a landscape. Bits of it, but just good practice. Just don't don't give up when you find it's not as easy as you thought. It takes a long time to learn to paint. Okay, I'm going to let that go. That's just an impression of painting autumn trees. Just put it in the mouth, put it in the uh, blue mouth, I think. A bit of detail in there. <coughs> mm -hmm. Blue mouth, there it is. You think how he finally got the message, he's gone. Well, there we are. Uh, a stand of trees. Let's uh, bring you round to the, the computer. Right, so that's what I saw. I'm not putting these things in. Don't any sense in that. But that is uh, a very quickly sorted out, complicated view, reduced to its sort of simplicity, really. The green grass is not a very, it's not rich and lush enough, but, but the, the, the object of the exercise is these, well, is this background, the stand of trees. So I hope you enjoyed that. Have a go at trees, don't, don't shy away from them. Just, see, what attracted me to this was the ivy. I love seeing all this ivy on trees. It gives you something to paint. Something to, to bounce your lights your lights off, off of. The more dark you paint, the lighter the lights are. So I, I've painted this bit in here first and painted around it. So it, hopefully it looks like it's, it's, it's closer rather than beyond. Uh, it's still a bit darker. But I'm going to let that go as an exercise, a tutorial in painting well, they sh I'm just going to do a little bit, a bit on those at the base. They're just sort of they're floating in, in midair there, but, and that, that's not really good. So let's put a bit of a bit of that in there. So they could actually come out of something. That's it. Right. Okay. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye bye.